Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Thought that I would do a quick video about my WPL B36KM kit here today. So this is the most expensive kit that WPL offers. Still really cheap though, you should definitely check out the links below. So this is a 6x6. Uh, rural or uh, some sort of Soviet old military vehicle. Pretty cool. And my first um, 6x6, all the, excuse all the dirt here, I've been running it uh, in the uh, mud outside in my garden. So yeah, um, it's supposed to be a military truck. But uh, I'm not too fond of the whole military style, so I choose to uh, do my own thing with it. I'm not 100% finished yet. Got some uh, detailing to do. Not sure what I'm going to do with the whole flatbed area. So I've just painted it black for now. So as usual, we've got the uh, full interior here. A lot of nice details, door handle, side mirror, working headlights. So yeah, it's actually pretty sweet. Mm, it's uh, one sixteen scale. So um, compared to the uh, C44, it's a bit, it's a bit longer, but it's smaller in scale. So the uh, wheelbase is a little longer since it's it's a 6x6 six six. as you can see here if you line them up the rear wheel on the C44 ends about in the middle of the rear wheel sets on this one so you get a little longer wheelbase on this one which is nice uh, I haven't driven this too much yet only taking it around my garden and uh, I'm actually surprised by how, uh, how uh, smooth it is and agile. Super, uh, super cool. I really love driving this thing around. Really good turning radius. So yeah, let's pop the hood or bonnet open here. This is the electronics that I'm using. And the ESC is a 40 amp EC from my uh, MST CMX. I've upgraded the EEC in that one, so I had this to spare and I chose to put it in this one. I'm using the Dumbo RC X6 transmitter receiver, six channels. Um, and since the electronics takes up pretty much all the room under the hood, I've uh, used this wooden crate or box here put a battery in, uh, which is, wor uh, works fine. And you can, if you want, you can use like a huge battery and just wrap it on the rear bed like this. So I can show you guys the steering here. Uh, turn on the transmitter. Really nice steering. Uh, upgraded the servo as well. I'm running a Metal Gear one. A little stronger than the stock one. Works great. Um, this comes with a two-speed uh, gearbox. Uh, unfortunately, I managed to uh, crack the uh, mounting plate here, uh, or the, the thing where you mount the uh, servo. So I've done a uh, MacGyver fix here, made a bracket on the top and then I've uh, fixated it with some wire here uh, and that should uh, work just fine until I get a new one or it just works, so you can see here. Take a look at the drive train here, metal shafts, metal axles. <clears throat> only thing that's plastic is the um, all the links on the uh, rear axle bridge as well as the uh, covers here they are plastic the transfer covers but that doesn't really matter so this this rig is really heavy because of all the metal and it's 
oops, super stable and solid. It's almost impossible to tip it over. And uh, I gotta say that I'm actually surprised by how flexible the uh, suspension is. It's really flexible, as you can see here now, the uh, middle rear wheel here lifts a little bit off the ground, but uh, it's, it's a lot of flex and uh, yeah, I'm impressed by it, as well as the flex in the rear. So yeah, it's super cool and I'm actually really happy that I got it. This might be my favorite truck, my new favorite WPL truck. I need to give it a proper test run, of course, which we will do in the next section of this video, but it looks really promising. Uh, I didn't have too much expectations for it, but um, yeah, I'm super happy with it. It beginning to look, it begins to look really cool. I'm really happy with the uh, color choice that I made, and uh, yeah, I think uh, best thing we can do now is to hit the trails with it and see uh, if it's any good. So. Um, Let's go out on the trails. Okay, so I'm out looking for new locations here. Found this spot. Pretty cool spot. Lots of rocks boulders. I don't know if uh, the mic can pick up the sound because it's quite windy. But it's, a, uh, it's a beautiful spot. So yeah, let's test this ring.
So now we've done the real test run with it. Proper test run on a, uh, at a great location. Had a lot of fun with it. Um, a lot more capable than I was expecting it to be. The extra pair of wheels in the back really gives that extra grip you need sometimes. So yeah, I'm, I'm super happy with this rig. I think it looks great as well. Um, something that I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video is that I chose to install a, a Latrax, Latrax motor in there, 370, same size. So some more power to it, a lot more speed. Um, that might be the reason behind this little accident here. The ring gear, pinion gear here uh, broke. So I lost half of that last rear drive shaft. That's why I had to uh, cut the run video a bit short. But otherwise, I'm super happy with this build. Um, really, really recommend getting one of these. Uh, check out the links below if you're interested. Um, they, and I mean, it's it's great. It looks great. It handles great. This this might actually be my new favorite WPL truck. Bumped C forty four from first place. So yeah, I definitely recommend it. It's a bit more expensive than the other ones, but it's worth it. Really cool with the six wheel drive. Really cool engineering in this, in this truck. I, I really, really like it.